Hey everybody. So it's been uh, about a week and a half since my last video and it's been quite a week. Um, I think the last time was I was up on the roof and, and sort of showed you what I was working on there on the porch, which uh, went pretty well. Um, you know, I got it all framed in and got it uh, waterproof the next day. Um, with a uh, new fascia board and I feel like the porch is now functional enough to operate for a while. Um, we've gone through several storms and that deluge of water that was coming in up on uh, bedroom two uh, is no longer. So that's great. There's still a couple of little drips that were existing that were a little further up from um, that section that I had removed. Um, but I'm just, I'm trying to tie into just paper, basically. Those shingles up there just literally fall apart in your fingers. So trying to sort of get up underneath them uh, was a challenge, and I wasn't going to strip the whole roof because um, I was fighting time. So that um, Monday, after I sent the last video, um, just powered out a huge day with, again, the fascia and waterproofing the porch and, and patching all that in. Um, and was really, really happy how that turned out. Um, and we had a major storm actually on Tuesday night. Um, so I went down to North Canton to spend time with uh, my buddy Aaron and his wife Heather for Aaron's birthday on Tuesday and was going to spend the night, but it was a major storm coming in and there was a tornado warning and I took off. I got sort of nervous about the fact that I had just sort of patched it in and, and um, there's no shingles on there. It actually has a, uh, uh, a peel and stick. Uh, it's called Storm Guard. It's, a, it's just a really good underlayment for um, what eventually will be the new roof. So I took off. I got here at like one o'clock in the morning on, on Tuesday and it was hailing and raining and uh, windy and everything was holding. So I was actually, you know, very, very happy. Um, but so Wednesday, I, I don't know what happens after I'm sort of around people since I've been so isolated here, but I got a little like bummed out on Wednesday and just kind of piddled around. I didn't do much. Um, Watched a few movies on Netflix, and I don't know, maybe I just needed a, a day to sort of decompress, and because it was a monster week before that. I was really happy with all the progress. And then Thursday, kind of a soft start, really, to the week. Um, and I uh, went and bought a used lawnmower and mowed the lawn and edged the lawn, which was actually a lot of fun. I haven't done that to my own yard in a very long time, because when I was in Oakland, you know, I paid a guy like 20 bucks to do my little postage stamp and it just wasn't worth it to, to deal with that. So anyway, um, Thursday, uh, that was Thursday. So Friday, I actually really got started in the basement and I am in the basement and it has been challenge after challenge. So I came down here because I started breaking out uh, this um, stack right here, this four inch, uh, stack vent that goes up and drains, uh, the old bathroom. And, um, if I have a minute, I'll walk up there and started breaking it out. And it was really kind of fragile and breaking out inside the pipe and sending some pieces down. So I immediately stopped because down here I have to dig up this section anyway to do the new sewer line and put a new footing right over here to hold up this post. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna do another footing over there. Actually, because that whole beam, I should say beams, uh, joists that are holding up the whole center of the house um, is sagging. And so I'm gonna put another footing back under there. I'm gonna jack it up a little bit and, and, and try to level that out. But down here, I had gas line and two water lines all coming right through this section, right up against the, the left edge of this beam here. And I had a duct that was coming out of the furnace around here in this direction that was feeding the kitchen over there. So it just, you know, I got to go back 10 steps 
on something, if I'm going to, you know, make things work and reconfigure. <laughs> so I actually started on Friday dismantling the gas line and redoing the gas line. I now have new gas line to a new dryer location, new gas line to the furnace, new gas line to the hot water heater. I was able to move the hot water heater over, which I will potentially replace at some point. Um, only because the plumber told me it was bad, but it seems to work. It's got a big dent in it, but it fires up and gets the water hot. So anyway, so that was Friday and, and, and Saturday actually moving this duct here, which was no small task because it goes through this crawl space back here. And that crawl space had not been cleaned out. It had uh, insulation on, on the floor, ceiling portion of the, of the crawl space uh, that was just disgusting. There was clearly maybe a rat family that was living in there at some point. I don't have any critters since I've been here. Um, but I had to get in there and clean all that out. Of course, I'm all, you know, coroned up with masks and, and goggles and gloves and everything. So, um, and they did some ridiculous thing and they nailed the insulation every two inches, which was just ridiculous. So they didn't have staples clearly when this insulation went in again, a long, long ass time ago, probably again in the forties or fifties, maybe. Um, so anyway, it took me a while to clean that up and then move that duct all the way around. And while I was at it, I cleaned up this section, which had more of the same stuff. This was all just caked with debris from the demo that I was doing and had not been sort of cleaned for a long time and broken insulation all down over here. So it's been really tedious work and... Um, Excuse me, but uh, but fun actually. It's um, I feel a lot better when things are really clean and organized. And it was a little bit of a disaster zone down here. And so um, on let's see, Friday, Saturday, Sunday morning, I actually Sunday afternoon I went back to um, Aaron's house uh, for sort of an Easter meal on Sunday and ended up spending the night. Um, but Sunday morning I started running copper and well, I'm not a plumber. Let's just put it that way. I have, I definitely have skills to acquire. So, um, I don't know if you can see with the current light, but I have recoppered and moved the, the hot water heater and ran copper over and you'll see several couple couplings. Um, and it actually just comes out to right here, um, where it'll tee off into the kitchen, extend a little further and go all the way up the house. So that's the cold water line. I have had to repipe almost the entire thing three times. Um, <laughs> this has really tested my patience. There were a lot of curse words, uh, and one pipe that was, um, uh, broken with my hands because I was so mad and I wrapped it around a, a, a four by four post down here. Um, and so I finally consulted my friend Marco, uh, who will be watching this video. Um, and he, we did some video, some duo, Google duo, and, um, he gave me some, some nuances to the, uh, uh, to the sweating of the pipes. So, I think I finally have it down for the most part. Um, I just got off the phone with him actually, and he was asking me about the video and I was like, oh, everything's holding up. And literally while we were on the phone, this joint broke right here, old pipe to the new pipe. Now this joint has already opened up three different times. So clearly I still don't have it right, but um, because of the other repairs that I've now spent the last day and a half doing, I feel like I can, I can get it. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not upset about it anymore. I mean, clearly I have, um, a learning curve here and it's getting a lot better. So for example, so you can look and see sort of these joints 
right here, nice and clean and no big drips and there's, they're not burned or anything. So that's after three, that's, that's the fourth one. I think that's the fourth one actually on that. And then you come over here and you can see like these, this is me getting started, just burned and drips and, you know, really bad work. So anyway, I'm learning. Uh, it's fun now actually uh, because I'm not in any great hurry. It just is what it is. And I'm not having to pay a plumber to do it. So, you know, the nominal cost of additional pipes and fittings is not too, too bad. Um, I mean, give me a wrench, give me a hammer, give me a, a, a chop saw, a table saw. Like, I'm good that way. Um, but man, the plumbing is, you know, I've soldered pipes before. It hasn't been a problem. Um, I, you know, I was never 100% at it, but doing all of these sort of tight configurations, uh, clearly I just, I don't know, maybe I was going a little too fast and I didn't have a hot enough torch. That was one thing. So I had to buy a new torch with a, with a gas that runs a little bit hotter. So that's, that's, that's been really helpful. But um, here, and I'll sort of scan the, the basement for you. So again, we have, you know, the utility sink, some dishes that need to be washed. Um, those are ducts that have all been removed and I've only replaced this one pipe here. That's the only one you can see that will be coming out of that one. Another one will be coming out of that one. I've made a drawing on sort of where everything is gonna go. Um, so I have a plan in place. Um, I'm just really happy the furnace you know, seems to be working well. And um, so and you can see the moisture, you know, that creeps in here. But again, all issues that um, I'm planning on dealing with at some point. But uh, I'm going to be down here for probably another week um, getting the, the water pipes and the gas reconnected once I put in the new stairs um, and the footings. I mean, maybe it's another week and a half even down here uh, to get this all done. But a uh, challenging week from both uh, an emotional standpoint and, you know, learning a trade standpoint. But um, I'm in good spirits now and, you know, it is what it is. You know, I have the luxury of being able to do what I like to do all day every day uh you know without the worries that a lot of people have about you know their jobs being furloughed or lost and uh, wages being you know lowered and um i'm super safe when i go to home depot i'm all gloved up and wear a mask uh, i don't mess around with that and i i i put um sanitizer on my hands and then i put them in the gloves and then I sanitize the gloves when I'm done and I sanitize my hands and I sanitize some things when I bring them back to the house. I mean, there's only so much you can do. You can't cover every item that you're buying at Home Depot or even at the grocery store, every single thing with soap and water and sanitizer. But I'm as about as diligent as you can be uh, with those things, you know. And now I even feel a little silly about doing that. I just, I have my sense that the coronavirus is very bad and, and, you know, a lot of people are getting sick and it would be a lot worse if we weren't socially distanced, but I don't know. Anyway, I don't want to get into that on this video. Uh, I hope everyone is doing well. Um, I will keep you posted. Uh, and I appreciate you watching. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel. I think I have nine subscribers at this point, which is great. Uh, I'm, as you know, I'm just sending this out for family and friends to stay connected and let you know what's going on here. So I wish you all well, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.